Hey everyone, it's Bruce St. James back on KTAR.com with another of my movie reviews. This time, The Texas Killing Fields. I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't even gonna go see this movie. Something called Texas Killing Fields struck me as too damn scary for me to see. I went ahead against my better judgment and saw it. It wasn't that scary, so I can start with that, that it wasn't one of these jump out of your seat, I was worried, I had to grab onto somebody. It just wasn't that good. Uh, if they were trying to make a scary movie, they missed. And my bigger problem with it is the story itself was tough to follow. It's allegedly based on a true story. It's the story of uh, Texas City, Texas, where there were many unsolved murders in this, this field, the bayous, where the bodies were turning up, and the local cops trying to solve it. You've heard this before. As a matter of fact, this movie would have been better as like a episode of NCIS or CSI. It just didn't fit the big screen. It was a disjointed story, and at the end of it, as a opposed to going, hey, that was really cool. We all stood around going, whatever happened to that one guy? Or why did that person do this? I don't think that's a good sign for a movie. Uh, interesting, not great. I'll tell you what, on the one to five scale, I'll give Texas Killing Fields a two and a half. And I'm being generous because Sam Worthington's in it and he seems like a nice guy. I'm Bruce St. James. That's my movie review for the Texas Killing Fields right here on KTAR.com.